The next question. Yes, the member for Toronto Denver. Thank you, Speaker. Speaker, my question to the Premier. Yesterday, the latest global climate report warned that the world was hurtling towards a climate danger zone, a time not only of more extreme weather events, but also a time of dropping standards of living and hunger for billions of people. At the same time, this government is ignoring its own inadequate climate plan and has added to the climate pollution we faced over the past four years. Now, now we hear from the daily commercial news, the construction industry newspaper, that the government is undermining the steps needed to bring new construction into the 21st century with a building code that will not only protect the climate, but will protect building occupants. They are ignoring those steps that we need to have taken. Why won't the Premier direct that the new building code be designed to help people by cutting their energy bills through energy efficiency? Thank you. Minister of the Environment, Conservation and Parks. Thank you, Speaker. Well, Speaker, Ontario is on track to meet our emissions reductions targets by 2030. For the working families who work at General Motors on the forefront of the largest ever electrification of the automobile sector in Ontario's history, they know, thanks to the leadership of this minister, we'll get it done tackling the largest source of GHG emissions being the transportation sector. For the inspiring youth speaker I met who participated in Ontario's first ever Youth Environment Council, who wanted us to embrace the circular economy, increasing the recycling of post-consumer goods, reducing the amount of harmful methane emissions in our landfills, they know we'll get it done. For the many new workers in the trades working on the forefront of the cleanest steel transition in Canadian history, phasing out coal through the production of, uh, of steel through the electrification of the arc furnace, leading to six megatons of greenhouse gas emissions reductions, they know that we'll get it done. Response. Speaker, we'll take no lessons from the members opposite, whose climate plan was to drive out industry, impoverishing uh, Ontario working families. We're working with them, we're leading to G GHG reductions, and we're not going to apologize for doing that. The supplementary question. Supplementary. Thank you. Uh, and again to the Premier, uh, and it would be useful if the Minister would read the Auditor General reports on the progress of his plan. I think he would have a very different story to tell. We know that, the world where the, we know that in a world where the climate is not stabilized, Ontario will face growing costs to deal with extreme weather. We're already spending $5 billion per year, and without action in the next few decades, we'll be spending $40 billion a year to deal with extreme weather impacts. Development of green building technology in Ontario and green building products would give us global advantage in selling products and services around the world. Development of substantially greener building stock could provide more highly paid and highly skilled jobs. And at the same time, we could save people money on energy costs for their homes and their businesses while reducing the risk they face Question. from the world getting hotter every day. Why won't the government protect Ontarians protect our jobs, protect our future by bringing in a building code that substantially cuts energy use. Thank, thank you, Speaker. And again, appreciate the question from the member opposite. But we know that with reckless policies like their Green New Deal, we won't be working with workers. There'll be none left. We're not going to be working with industry either. We will have driven them out. You know, I had the opportunity to visit Madame Holmes and see some of the incredible leading work that they're doing. And you know what they said? that the gatekeepers and the nimbyism supported by the NDP was the biggest barrier to a more sustainable future. That's what the building sector has to say. Thanks to this Minister of Municipal Affairs and Housing, we're working with all partners, municipalities, upper tier, lower tier. They've thanked us, Speaker, for the first ever climate change impact assessment. They can try and shout me down, Speaker, but they know they had the opportunity to do that. They could have. They didn't. We did, Speaker. We're working with Fine. industry, Speaker. We're seeing greenhouse gas emissions reductions. We're leading, thanks to the incredible talent in Ontario. We won't take any lessons from the doom and gloom misery party who would lead. Thank you.